Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ADS Play 101 here, but welcome to Uncut Honest Reviews, where I just give you raw reviews of video games that I just finished. And today we're going to be talking about Moon Scars. Now, of course, I'm not going to have any fancy edits or anything like that. This is just me giving my honest opinion about a game that I recently played. So bear with me if you expected something else. So I just got through getting finished playing a game called Moon Scars, which is based in this world where clay takes life. And you take the role of Irma, who is what they call a Clayborn, as she travels around trying to find her, find her creator and get some answers as to why she exists. Um, the game is like a, a hack and slash retro style game where uh, it takes, oh, let me see, where it takes uh, inspiration from past video games that pretty much were like, you know, the Sega Genesis era, uh, the Super Nintendo era, and it's one of those high definition retro style games that kind of page homage to that. Um, the game has a pretty simple combat system. I mean, she has three attacks, she has a dash, um, and then she has a special move, which is her, which is pretty much like her heavy weapon. And the heavy weapon can be switched at the, at the dark mirror for glands, which is basically where you go to like, um, heal. And you can spin glands to get different different ones or as you progress through the game every time you unlock a new dark mirror which is basically going to take you to the workshop which is where i am now where you can buy different uh different items um and you head back to the mirror once you come to the once you unlock a new mirror excuse me and then you go back to the original place that you were she has a doppelganger that she has to fight and the doppelganger takes away your current special weapon and if you beat her, you, then you end up getting another, um, you get a chance to get another, uh, another special weapon with the option to either have no upgrades to get an Icar upgrade, which is the gray bar, which is basically like your magic or a health upgrade. So it does give you a chance to either keep the same weapon you have or get a different one with an upgrade to it. Um, as you progress through the game there's witchery which again is your magic and they got different things you can unlock uh and it costs ash bones which is basically the currency in the game so you can get different different moves it ranges from simple projectiles to uh sword enhancements which they only have one of to, to like summoning creatures you can create black holes or, or things like that create shock waves uh various things of that nature um also on top of the special attacks in the um in the witchery that you have you also unlock uh gemstones as you go through the game and they have various gemstones that increase your critical damage uh that adds damage to your dashing so when you dash through one of the monsters in the game you can damage them uh, they got one that ranges from uh, taking less damage, make you slower, but you receive less damage. Um, and they got also ones that's limited, like the healing trace one that makes her invincible when she's healing. Uh, as long as you have enough Icar, you can hold down right bumper and she heals. Um, she also has a parry, which you have to time with the enemy's attacks. They're going to have a... When they attack you, they have like this flash of red that lets you know when... The attack is coming and if you time it right she's going to do a heavy swing just like that and it's going to uh do a lot of damage so that's one of the things you're going to have to master early on um, as well as the dashing you also have ones that give you a second dash um some of these are pretty useless because you're not gonna you can only equip three at a time so you're pretty much only gonna some of these you're just never going to use unless you want to in, in this game they also have like mini side quests um that you can complete but you have to do it at a certain time because once, once you reach a certain point it's going to be like you're not going to be able to complete it and there may be like additional gemstones that you might be able to unlock uh that you can only get from those side quests so you may want to get those done as uh 
quick as possible. It's only a handful of them, like a couple. So you're not going to uh, miss out on anything too much um, if you don't get it. But it does reward you for some with some rare items. Uh, on top of that, um, in kind of like a Souls fashion, the Ash Bones, which I said again, is like your currency. And like other games... Uh, such as like Dark Souls or like Salt and Sanctuary or games like that. Anytime you die, well, I don't know about Salt and Sanctuary, but in a game like this, which is kind of reminiscent of like the Dark Souls series or the Souls series, anytime you die, then there's going to be like a statue where you died at. And you can go back and, um, and you can retrieve your ash bones that you lost at the time that you died. So... It's, it's a way for you to get back your your currency. Now at this boss fight, I didn't. <laughs> I lost all my uh, ash bones, so obviously I didn't recover anything. But yeah, so in this workshop, um, there's gonna be several people here. Uh, there's gonna be like a lady who's basically like a maiden. Um, when you beat, when you reach certain. NPCs or when you beat bosses you get what's called a memory um, or like a mold of power or like a memory mold and you can sell them to her for, to her for like additional ash bones so and she's only going to be around for a limited time as you can see right now she's not there because she's uh she's gone at this point in the game and then there's another guy who you've seen me go to at the mirror he's going to be over here he sells uh other gemstones for you to get as well as there's going to be a little girl in here named Irma who's going to give you upgrades as well you have to go around and collect these little earrings which are all over the all over the world all over the maps so you definitely can get those there um with the woman her items cost glands which is like the little heart shaped little thing that you see the number 50 at so those can be used for currency as well as to upgrade and uh, offer to the moon. Um, anytime you die, the ravenous moon appears, which is the red moon. And there's certain things that are only appear within the red moon. So it kind of might be to your best interest in spaces to have the red moon activated, die, activate the red moon, and um, see what secrets they have there. Uh, now, the game's combat is real simple. It's not anything too complicated. My only complaint is that they do have some glitches in the game. Uh, look, just looking at the map, um, I would say when I was in an area such as the Apex Castle, which is what this area is right here, there was moments when, not even there, it was a... Uh, it's basically like in the earth bowels and several places on this during the game where if you don't beat certain enemies, then pretty much you're going to be stuck and you have to restart. So, for example, they have like these, they almost look like witches that heal the monsters. Like they'll fly while you're fighting the, the monsters that's at the bottom and in some rare cases you have to beat them first not only to stop them from healing but if you beat all the monsters that's at the ground level and you don't you know kill the the healers basically what will happen is that the healers are like fly all the way up and it's to where you can't touch them and you have to restart and there was even times where there's gates that are locked and you have to beat all the monsters there but if all the monsters don't spawn then basically you have to restart again so i did run into those troubles a few times um outside of that the game overall is real challenging it's it's cool i like it um and it was a it does give you a good sense of uh accomplishment when you beat certain bosses and things like that because they do challenge you a little bit so if you ever wanted a retro style game that if you ever wanted a game that gives you a retro feeling this is definitely the game for you um and it's for free in the Xbox Game Pass, so you don't have to pay any additional money for it for however long that it's in there. You know, pay a little $10 for the Xbox Game Pass, download it, give it a try. 
And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it as much as I did. So this is ADS Play 101. Finished with Moon Scars. Uncut Honest Reviews. Signing out.